Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit six, lesson 12. Solving problems about percent, increase or decrease. Problem number one from seventh grade, unit four, lesson 12. A backpack normally costs $25, but it is on sale for $21. What percentage is the discount? The discount price divided by the original price will tell us the percent paid for the sale price. And 21 divided by 25 is 84 hundredths, which is 84%. To find the percentage of the discount, we need to subtract 84% from 100%. 100 minus 84 equals 16. That means the sale is a 16% discount. Problem number two from seventh grade unit five, lesson nine. Find each product. A, two fifths times negative 10. We can simplify. Five goes into five once and five goes into negative 10 twice. So that becomes a negative two. Now we multiply straight across. Two times negative two is negative four and one times one is one. That leaves us with negative four over one, which is the same as negative four. B, negative eight times negative three over two. We can rewrite that as negative eight over one times negative three over two. And we can simplify. Two goes into two once, and two goes into negative eight four times. So that becomes negative four. Now multiply straight across. A negative times a negative equals a positive, and four times three equals 12. And on the bottom, one times one equals one. So we have positive 12 over 1, which is the same as 12. C, 10 sixths times 6 tenths. We can write them both as fractions. 10 over 6 times 6 tenths, or 6 over 10. We can cross cancel. 6 goes into 6 once, and 6 goes into 6 once, and 10 goes into 10 once, and 10 goes into 10 once. You can already tell this is going to equal one because one times one on top is one and one times one on the bottom is one, which is one over one or one divided by one, which equals one. D, negative 100 over 37 times negative 37 hundredths. Again, we can write them both as fractions. Negative 100 over 37 times 37 over negative 100. You can already tell that this answer is going to be positive 1 because negative 3700 over negative 3700 equals positive 1. Problem number 3. Select all expressions that show x increased by 35%. That means a 35% increase of a number. And we can write that as 0 0.35 times x. That shows the increase of the number plus x, the original number. We can also write it as 1.35 times x. We can also think of it as 35 hundredths times x plus one times x, the original x, and that can be written as a fraction as well. 35 over 100 times x plus the original x. We can also write the plus x as plus 100 over 100 times x because that's the same as one x. My point is, there's a lot of expressions that can show x increased by 35%. Take a look at expression A, 1.35x. That's an expression that we came up with and we can choose that one. Take a look at expression B, 35 over 100 times x. That's just part of one of our expressions. We would have had to have added another x to this one, so we can't choose B. Take a look at expression C x plus 35 over 100 times x. That's the same as 35 over 100 x plus x. So we can choose C. Let's look at expression D. 1 plus 0 0.35 times x. That's the same as x times 0 0.35 plus 1. So we can choose expression D. Take a look at expression E. 100 plus 35 over 100 times x. That's equivalent to expression A, 1.35 times x. So we can choose expression E. And finally, expression F, 100 plus 35 times x. That's equivalent to 135 times x, which is 100 times greater than expression A. So we cannot choose expression F. 
Problem number four from seventh grade unit four, lesson 11. Complete each sentence with the word discount, deposit, or withdrawal. A. Claire took $20 out of her bank account. She made a withdrawal. B. Karen used a coupon when she bought a pair of shoes. She got a discount. C. Priya put $20 into her bank account. She made a deposit. D. Lynn paid less than usual for a pack of gum because it was on sale. She got a discount. Problem number five. Here are two stories. The initial freshman class at a college is 10% smaller than last year's class. But then during the first week of classes, 20 more students enroll. There are then 830 students in the freshman class. A store reduces the price of a computer by $20. Then, during a 10% off sale, a customer pays $830. Here are two equations. A. Decide which equation represents each story. The first story says that the freshman class is 10% smaller than last year's class. So we can write that as x minus 10% times x. The x represents the freshman class. And x minus 10% of x means this year's freshman class is 10% smaller than last year's freshman class. There are then 830 students in the freshman class. We can write this as 830 equals x minus 10% of x plus 20. The plus 20 in the equation represents the 20 students that enrolled during the first week of class in the story. Look at the x in the equation. We could actually call that 100% of x. Now we have 100% of x minus 10% of x. And 100% minus 10% equals 90%. So we can think of this as 90% x plus 20 equals 830. Since the decimal value of 90% is 0.9, for this story, I would go with the equation 0.9x plus 20 equals 830. The next story, where the store reduces the price of a computer by $20, then during a 10% off sale, a customer pays $830, I could write the equation 90% times x minus 20 equals 830. And remember, 90% as a decimal would be 0.9. So I would use the equation 0.9 times x minus 20 equals 830 for this story. B. Explain why one equation has parentheses and the other doesn't. In the second story, the store reduced the price of the computer by $20. They did that first. Then they had a 10% off sale, which means they were going to charge 90% of the value of the computer after they reduced the price by $20. They represented this in the equation using parentheses, x minus 20. And that was a little different compared to the first story. In the first story, they took 90% of last year's class and then they added 20 students. They didn't need parentheses to separate this. C. Solve each equation and explain what the solution means in the situation. The first equation, 9 tenths x plus 20 equals 830. Subtract 20 from both sides of the equal sign. Now you're left with 9 tenths x equals 810. Divide both sides by 9 tenths and you're left with x equals 900. 900 represents the number of students in the freshman class. For the second equation, divide both sides by 0.9. Then you're left with x minus 20 equals 922.2. Add 20 to both sides of the equal sign, and you get x equals 942.22. 942.22 represents the price of the computer before discounts. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.